Kate's ready for this first up. While plenty of folks are happy to see the holidays wind down, most people wish the holiday season lasted longer than it actually does. 52% say they may try to fit in as many festive activities as possible, but the same percentage agree there is not enough time in the holiday season to do everything they want to do. Do you wish the holidays lasted longer? No, and thank you for not acknowledging that I look like a mole Santa who got fired for smoking pot with the elves. That was nice of you. Um, here it is, really quick. Okay. Okay, people are trying to do too much, and that's why they think the season is too short. Everybody needs to stop trying to have the coolest Christmas on Instagram and just pace themselves, listen to some music, have a good time. Growing up in my house, there were five Christmas activities, okay? okay. You got the tree, you went the mass, you went to Christmas Eve, you went to Christmas Day, you went to rehab. No. You were done, <laughs> ho, 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 I'll see you at the gym New Year's Day. Everybody needs to chill out, get off Instagram. You don't need to broadcast every second of your holiday. Oh, Timmy made a snowman. So Nobody good. cares, don't assume the snowman's gender anyway. Move on Aww. with your life, sorry. They care, they wanna see Timmy's snowman. I feel like we're over broadcasting our lives though. That's, I, I don't doubt that Timmy's a fine snowman connoisseur. <laughs> But I feel like we're sh everyone's running their own one-man news service during the holiday season, and it's exhausting. Everybody you know makes Christmas cards. Jenny makes a fabulous Christmas card. But it's a big production, you know, because you got to pick the photos. Do we put this one here? Do we put that one there? Oh, are, you, you, do mail photo are you a photo card Jenny dude? is a heavyweight, like a Hollywood heavyweight. <laughs> like, she brings in James Cameron. There's special effects involved, <laughs> CGI. It's a lot. Judge, you love, I, we, we all love the holidays, don't yes. get us wrong, yes. but do you wish they lasted longer? You know why people wish they last longer? because they don't get started until the week before Christmas. And then they're like, oh my gosh, I didn't get everything done. So I wish it lasted longer. If they would get started the day after Thanksgiving, get everything done, then they'd be done by, you know, December 25th. So uh, I don't wish they lasted longer. I'd rather hang myself at this point. I mean, I'm so tired of Christmas decorations in my house. Get those grandkitties though. I got one. Oh, one. Geraldo, what about you? Living in Ohio, the, uh, the end of the holiday season is very, very traumatic because there's nothing ahead of you. There's January and maybe have Martin Luther King weekend and then February and by March you want to kill yourself. I mean, it really is so, so grim. The weather is so bad, so cold, so gray. Uh, you wish the holiday season lasted at least until March. And the Browns are not making yeah, it. No, 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 don't say that, don't say that. It could be. Oh, let me tell you something. The, could Brown, be. the Browns have a great shot on Xbox. Okay, they got a really good <laughs> shot. There's a PlayStation involved. The Browns could go all the way. You have young kids, so do you wish it lasted longer? Or? No. Because you can keep the, the Santa threat going. The second I unwrap the last present mm -hmm. for myself, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm immediately depressed. And then it becomes you have to clean up everything. I like you have to clean up oh, yeah. the table, the wrapping paper, and if you don't clean up the wrapping paper during the unwrapping process, mm -hmm. that's not how you do things. So yes, there's something very dark and scary. It's a dark winter once that last <laughs> present. So do you live in that house? Winter is coming. Winter you, is coming. Do you live in that house where every Christmas morning photo has a hefty bag in the background? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Absolutely. In fact, one kid, as soon as they finish opening one, has to wait until the yeah. garbage goes in the bag <laughs> yeah. and that nobody touches anything until that's done. And I'm not even enjoying the unwrapping. I'm, I'm just trying to clean up the whole time. I sort of feel that Christmas has to kind of last through until February because all the people that you wanted to get together with, it can't all work out in one month. So oh, you end up pushing it into the new year yeah. and you're still saying Merry Christmas and Happy New Year on President's Day, mm -hmm. as a, so to speak. In, right. in Latin families, though, it is prolonged in the sense that uh, Three Kings Day yes. on January 6th January is yeah. really the yeah. time when kids get their gifts often, particularly oh. in Catholic Latino. Never heard of that before. Oh, I yeah. Uh, yeah, Three Orthodox, Kings Day, well, Puerto Rican The family, Orthodox uh, know religion know as well. January we 6th that. has a religious meaning. Yes, in January 6th has a religious yeah, meaning. Yes. Yes. When the king maybe maybe that's what the they were doing at the yes. Capitol. <laughs> they were partying. <laughs> oh, yeah. Up next, several states picking a surprising favorite Christmas movie in a new study. I've never heard of this one. Edward Scissorhands topping the list in Arizona, California, Florida, and New Mexico. The movie does not even take place during the holidays, but some fans pointing, pointing to this iconic snow scene you might remember. And then there's Die Hard, which does take place during Christmas, top the list in Idaho and Montana. 
What do you think, Edward Scissorhands? Is that a Christmas movie? You want to know why people consider them Christmas movies? Because they always air on Christmas. People watch reruns on Christmas. Mm -hmm. It's not a new release day. I mean, the ultimate Christmas movie, I think, is Christmas Story, which would never get made today with the bullying and the BB gun. They'd be like, <laughs> nah, we'll take Cocaine Bear instead. It's less offensive. <laughs> uh, but I always grew up in a Christmas Story house. Uh, there was always some It's a Wonderful Life in the in background. Cleveland. <laughs> no, I was on Long Island. I was a little bit of It's a Wonderful Life. The only Christmas movie I don't lean into is Love Actually. We've mm. talked about this a lot on the show. Yeah. The best experience I had watching Love Actually was in 2010. I was a cab driver. Jenny wanted to watch it Christmas night. One-year-old Lincoln walked out of his bedroom 20 minutes in, threw up on himself, and that ended the movie because oh. Jenny had to go clean him up. So you and never shut saw how it ended? Uh, I've seen how it ended 5,000 <laughs> times. Okay, I, I might have I got the kid sick on purpose, but I'm not going to confess. Just in case. Do you watch movies on Christmas? No, and I've never seen It's a Wonderful Life. No, only what? clips. Seen it. Only or clips. Christmas Dude. story. Never yeah. watched the whole thing. Dude. Our Christmas movie Culture in our house deprived. is Home Alone. Mm. Yeah, I love that. Kids love Home Alone. Yeah. 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 Home Alone now. The parents would get arrested for negligence at the end of the yeah. movie. Oh, That's yeah. how it ends. Definitely. <laughs> Geraldo? I would say Elf is the the best of the modern movies, but Miracle on 34th Street That's good and It's a Wonderful Life. I, you have to watch this. I mean, this I is part of your education. It's like thank reading you, Geraldo. Give me an assignment. Geraldo, <laughs> we grew up in the era where Miracle on 34th Street was the Knicks winning a playoff game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. That would be a miracle. And was Judge, that 1973? Judge, I, I love Die Hard. Uh, you know, I'm a shoot em up, cut em up, the kind of, the kind of guy. <laughs> cut em up. Kind of girl. <laughs> yeah. cut em up. Die Hard is my favorite. I could watch that over and over. But, you know, I saw Miracle on 34th. I've never seen, like, like you, never seen Edward Scissorhands. I, I saw, no, I saw Edward Scissorhands. I just didn't think it was a Christmas movie. Oh, well, I've never seen it. Am I the only one who's oh, never good. seen it? I think you'd like it. Solid. What does he do with his so, scissor hands so right. besides cut hair? And hedges. <laughs> it's it's kind of like a feel-good Freddy Krueger. Is this That's kind of, what it is. Yeah, exactly, is he available exactly. to hire? I mean, it's been about 20 years since I saw it, so I'll have to refresh my memory. All right, up next, when do you take down the tree? Acton Justin Hartley admits he keeps his up for many, many months. Ooh. The This Is Us star telling People Magazine this. My whole thing is if you come over to my house in July, there might be a Christmas tree up. I don't mind putting them up, but taking them down is a nightmare. It's sad and it's such a pain, so I just keep it lit up through January and then into summer. But if you do the same, get ready for a backlash on your block. Nearly <laughs> half of Americans say decorations should be packed away before the end of January. This summer, we moved into a new apartment building, and I was out in the courtyard one day doing a conference call, and I, looked, I was looking up at the balconies, and there was somebody... They had their Christmas tree out on their balcony. This is July. <laughs> oh, and I was like, what is that? And I took a picture because Kennedy lives in the same building. Yeah. I was like, oh, like, is this you? Is this, like, <laughs> is, is this you? But, Judge, you have a beautiful home, and you've decorated it so nicely. Do you leave it up for a while? You know what? I used to leave it up until January 6th because that's the Feast of the Epiphany. And, that, you know, it's a religious thing. Um, and, and I'm Roman Catholic, but I have a lot of family Greek Orthodox. Mm -hmm. uh, but now, like, I'm getting a little crazy. Like, I want it down. I want my house back. You know, clean it up. It's enough already. But the tree is, uh, you know, you've got to get rid of it because it starts shedding. It's different than Christmas lights. Christmas lights really add to the character of the neighborhood. And they really are very warm, and I like them. I mean, I, I guess long? past uh, January is really, I mean, the end of January is really pushing it. Uh -huh. Yeah. But uh, they're, they're lovely, and I like them. What about you? So then you leave them up for a while? I, well, I don't usually hang them because I have a Jewish <laughs> wife, and if I did, I would have to sleep outside. <laughs> I see, I see, I see. <laughs> okay. And what about you? I know you, you clean up all the presents right away. What about the tree? It's yeah, the go. tree comes down within a day or two. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And people are actually lazy. And that's why they don't take their tree down. But they're saying it's because they're in the spirit of Christmas. That's not true. They're just lazy. <laughs> well, about, Justin's lazy. How about lights, though? Yeah. Lights? Yeah. Those come down pretty soon, too. Colored lights or white lights? Uh, I'm a white light guy, but I don't judge colors. Mm -mm. Good lights. answer. So I have friends, the Whitlocks, they don't keep their tree up for long after Christmas because there's a, like, they have a birthday in their family. So, but they put their tree up November 1. What? what? No, that's too much. Have, what, hold on. Do they, do they live in a CVS? <laughs> like, nope. What are you talking about? If they love Christmas, they just do it early. This is the problem everybody's doing wrong with Christmas. They're starting too early, like a drugstore. They're put the day after Halloween, the day after Thanksgiving. My Aunt Fran was the most efficient Christmas Easta I've ever met. Day after Thanksgiving, the tree went up. She hosted Christmas Day, but the tree was in a box by the time you went home on Christmas <laughs> night. And again, as a kid, you're like, whoa, whoa, Aunt Fran, let a guy breathe. But as an adult, you're like, Fran, I get it. You need help it. with this box? Yeah, you help her out a little bit. All right, one more. Up next, ever wonder when to tell your family or friends sleeping over at your house during the holidays that it's time to go? Well, <laughs> most people say guests officially overstay their welcome after four days. Four days, definitely. No. Maybe three.
stop. What about you? Yo, four what hours. If, what did four Fran hours. Say? Four hours. <laughs> what about Aunt Fran? That's Aunt Fran that's is that's from true. my side of the family. We only have the. We don't have anybody out of town, so they're only there for one day. Mm. I hosted Thanksgiving. It started at three o'clock. At nine o'clock, football's over. At 9 o'clock, people were at my house. I almost went to the neighbors and called the cops on myself. I was like, what are you guys doing here? Six, uh, four hours at a, at a one-day event. If you're on the road, okay, because I do go to Ohio with Jenny's family, it's like two days. You want to know why? Because there's nothing to do by day three. That's when the bad eating and the bad drinking starts. It's not the holidays that get you fat. It's the days you treat like holidays that, 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 that add up. That keep it going. Thank That's you. Interesting. So you have guests coming over? No, when my grandparents used to come over to the house, and we would wake up the next morning, and they'd be gone. Oh, they would be out yeah. the door at 6 a.m., yeah. and we appreciated that. Yeah. Really yeah. I, ben Franklin said, fish and visitors stink after three days. I think yeah. that that's probably true. You were there when he said it. So he was yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it well. I sat on his Judge, do you have a rule? Uh, no. No, I love when my sister comes and when my mom, I, she would never stay long enough. Mm -hmm. I just, I just love having Yeah, I, I could have my, my mom and my sister stay for a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The rest Any, of you. Anyone else. Out. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.